This might be my Skittles Girl Scout cookie. Holy shit. This is insane. Hey, this is Ted Blair at Canna Country Farm. Welcome to Old Growth OGs. Yeah, let's go this way and see what we can find. My first seed I ever saw pop up at like 13. I didn't know what it was. I was like, oh yeah, hey, you know, watered it. My mom like, hey mom, what's that? You know, and finally she was like, well, you remember what your sister was here and they were smoking that, you know? And, so. and then we got the trees. Yeah, we got some trees over here. Sunset this, Sherbert Lemon Kush. Yeah, this is this whole row. And so you'll see the different phenotypes coming out right here. This is a pheno hunt that you're looking at. So each one of these, is uh, rooted in my in my clone room. Okay. And what we're gonna do is finish the harvest off, dry it, cure it, and then I'm gonna start breaking into it and smoking it, testing it, and then um, coming up with which one is the one. So I'm looking for something new, but I'm also trying to bring it from the past, like memories of smells and looks and strains that I grew up with. That's insane. Yeah, it is. Skittles, Skittles Girl, Scout. Girl Scout. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? That's where all the data comes in. When we sit down and we're like, how does it smell? How does it look? How does it taste? How does it taste in the joint before you smoke it? Before you light it, you know? Just well, with like, all the R&D you gotta do at the lab too. I mean, this is not oh, yeah. a cheap endeavor. People won't understand how much work it takes to pheno hunt to get to this point yep how did you get brought into this you know wonderful wild world of, of weed in humboldt county well, my mom was actually the original and she didn't do it for money she didn't do it for her job she was in the postal service 33 years and retired so it was just a passion you know she just had a green thumb and really enjoyed the plant she's she's uh turned 79 this year and she's still out here putting her love in you know yeah. what i mean yeah we're not only growing cannabis we're kind of growing a lifestyle up here that's beauty right there yeah you're not going to see anything like that i mean right now you can only find this right here there is no other place that has this strain we call it the can of country number 26 just so we don't get too confused with names. The forbidden fruit coupled with the chetamoya, the smell is just unreal. Yeah, this makes my mouth water just standing right by it. I mean, to have that osamine terpene in there and just how much depth in that nose there is and the color behind it, I mean, it's- I And mean, people don't even know about the osamine terpene. Like, how did you find, kind of select that one out and breed it? I smoked and I've never experienced this before. The smoke would just open up my lungs like, like, like uh, pure oxygen and it's smoke. And so there's some other benefits in this cross besides just having unique flavor, osamine terpene and a, a unique, unique look. I think there's more to dig in on this pheno hunt that will be you know, almost like an enhancement smoke before you go roll jujitsu or before you play okay. hoops or something, you know what I mean? Like literally like Vicks, like it opened up. I could take a complete deep breath. I never felt any heat at all from the smoke and really no real expansion, just complete. Like I could just feel my lungs just completely open all the way up. I've never experienced that. I think there's a lot more to this strain than even what we have here. Sweet. I think there's real medicine in it. And uh, this is gonna take the right person to kind of extract it out of it and find the, yeah. the profiles that will, you know, be more uh, medical. Because once it catches on and people are interested in it, and they're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get it out to farmers to have them cultivate it so that, yeah. you know, it can get out. Hey man, thanks for having us out. Thanks so for sweet. coming out, checking yeah. it out. Chitty Moya.